Depending on the reason for your hair loss, which we will determine, there are different treatments. If we determine that your hair loss is because of metabolism, like thyroid issue, for example, then we correct the thyroid and we expect that you'll have some return of your hair. If there's an environmental issue, then we sit down and we talk about ways, different ways to style your hair to avoid things like tension and chemicals that can sometimes help the hair return. If we're talking about our hormones, Women, as we get older and more mature, we can sometimes, our hormones will change and that can contribute to hair loss. And there's a different type of treatment for that. Um, it could be something as simple as giving a medication called spironolactone, which can help with hair. There are some topical solutions that can help. There's something called PRP, which is an injection of your own plasma, which can also help with hair loss for that type of hair loss. And then if we're getting into someone who's talking about nutrition, then we find out there's a nutritional deficiency, like a B12 deficiency or iron deficiency, then correcting that will allow the hair to begin to grow back. So there's lots of different ways that we can treat it. It just depends, again, on the hair loss. Then if you want to get into the different kinds of alopecia, which is a very common kind of hair loss, we have the scarring. We have non-scarring alopecia. There are several different diagnoses under those two umbrellas. But if you have a scarring alopecia, it's a little more difficult to treat because if you think about it, if the hair follicles are scarred, then the hair is not going to come through. It's a little difficult to treat, but we do have some things like injections of a steroid, an anti-inflammatory medication that can treat it, and some topical solutions. The goal there, though, is really not always to have hair return um, because there, that scarring is there, but to just stop the progression if that occurs. So it's important when you're having hair loss, especially completely bald patches of hair to see someone right away while it's still early because the more severe it is, the harder it is to treat. If you have non-scarring alopecia or hair loss that is non-scarring, there's no scarring in the follicles, then we can expect to have some hair regrowth once we correct that. That can be autoimmune. Different kinds of conditions can cause us to have, you know, hair loss that's our own body attacking the hair follicles. And again, correcting that problem, that underlying problem with different kinds of medications can reverse that type of hair loss. So um, again, another, a non-scarring alopecia can be from the stress. So like a, what they call telogen effluvium, which is basically you have a baby and you lose a lot of hair. So, or you go into a big surgery and you lose a lot of your hair. So those kinds of things, we correct that or we change that in some way or just time, you know, um, at, when you first have a baby, it's very stressful, but over time it's less stressful, ideally, then your hair will start to grow back. When you look at the two, non-scarring and scarring, um, you, there's more promise for hair regrowth. And I always try to set up that expectation that if they have scarring, that expectation is gonna be different and not so much hair growth, but preventing the progression.